Introduction to Rounding Numbers We might be given the problem, round 73 to the nearest tens place. So it might help us to make a number line. And we place 73 on this number line. Halfway in between 70 and 80 would be 75. So 73 is about here on the number line. And now we look, hey, we're going to the nearest tens place, so we're either going to go to 70 or go to 80. And 73 is closer to 70 than it is to 80. So the answer to this problem is 70. Here are three more numbers to round to the nearest tens place. For 67, the tens place is right here, which is the 6. And then what we end up doing is we underline the 7, because that is the digit we look at to see whether or not that 6 goes up or whether it stays the same. In this case, because that's a 7 there, 67, then that 6 actually goes up. And the reason it goes up is as follows. It's 0 to 4, circle stays the same. 5 to 9, add 1 as the game. And you, in this case, you add 1 to that circled number. So the 6 becomes a 7. And we place a 0. We zero out after that circled digit. Now we do the same type of thing for this next one here, which is 82, where the circled digit is going to be the 8, because that's the tens place. We underline the 2. If that 2 is in between 0 and 4, the circled number stays the same. So that circled number is an 8. We flex our muscles like a hero, and digits to the right change to 0. This is going to be part of our rounding wrap that I'll introduce shortly. Now, so 82 is closest to 80. Now, 55, you'll notice that's 5 to 9, so we add 1. We add 1 to that 5. So the 5 becomes a 6, and we do have to remember to zero out as well. So 55 to the nearest tens place is 60. Here's that rounding wrap. So what you do is you find the place value and circle that digit. And what you're doing there is you're finding the place value that you are rounding to. So for instance, in our previous example, it said to round to the tens place. We are finding that tens place and circling that digit. Next, it says move to the right and underline get it. And then so in that particular case, this is what we're doing. I'll write a number here. If we were asked to write round this number to the nearest tens place, we would have circled the three and we would have underlined the two. Zero to four circle stays the same. So in this case, we're looking at that underlying digit. Zero to four circle stays the same. That means that circled number would stay the same. It would stay a three. If it was a five, six, seven, eight, or a nine, then we would have added one to that circled digit. Add one is the game. Now flex your muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to zero. And so the rounding wrap says those numbers after the circle digit change to zero. Finally, it says all other digits stay the same. That means that eight still stays the same. And it says, yo, you're a winner at the rounding game. So 832 rounded to the nearest tens place is 830. Let's say the rounding wrap together. Rounding wrap. Find the place value and circle that digit. Move to the right and underline get it. 0 to 4, circle stays the same. 5 to 9, add 1 is the game. Now flex your muscles like a hero. Digits to the right change to 0. All other digits stay the same. Yo, you're a winner at the rounding game. Here's another problem that says round to the hundreds place. So find that place value and circle that digit. So we're going to circle the hundreds place, which is the 3 right here. Move to the right, underline get it. So we underline the 7. Now we look at that underlying digit. 0 to 4, circle stays the same. 5 to 9, add 1 is that game. And so the 3 becomes a 4. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to 0. So the 7 changes to a 0, and the 6 changes to a 0. Finally, all other digits stay the same. 
this is a common mistake for students where they forget that last step of that rounding wrap, because 1,376 rounded to the nearest hundreds place is not 400. It is 1,400, where all other digits stayed the same. Here are a few more problems. This one says to round to the thousands place. So first off, we have to find the thousands place. And what digit is in the thousands place of the, in this first number? It is the 3. So we circle that 3. We underline get it. We underline that 6. If that underlined digit is in between 0 and 4, that circle stays the same. If it's in between 5 and 9, add 1 is the game. And then so that 3 becomes a 4. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to 0. All other digits stay the same, and in this case there is only one other digit we haven't worked with yet, and so that one stays the same. Oftentimes when we're working with this here, rounding that is, I have students write this here, 0 to 4, same, 5 to 9, add 1. A common mistake is to actually not find the correct place value. And at times, when you're looking to see whether or not you stay the same or add 1, some students will look at that circle number rather than that underlined number. You must be looking at that underlined number. Let's go through that rounding process for that next example. It says round to the thousands place again, so we circle the 1, and we underline the 3. It says 0 to 4, circle stays the same, so we're looking at that underlined digit. It is in between 0 and 4, so that circle digit stays the same. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to zero. And all other digits stay the same. When you feel you're done rounding your answer, you should always look back and say, okay, well, I rounded to the thousands place. Is this a thousands number? Is this approximately very close to that there? Yeah, it is. They look to be about um, similar. In other words, they're about the same. Okay, it's time for you to try round to the hundreds place. While we're learning this right now, please make sure to go through those steps. You might want to write out that 0, 4 stays the same. Remember, you're looking at that underlying digit. And then 5 to 9, add 1 is the game. So round to the hundreds place. Press pause. For that first number, you would have circled the 3 because that's in the hundreds place. Underline the 4. Circle digit would stay the same. Flex your muscles like a hero. Digits to the right of that circle number change to 0. And all other digits stayed the same. So the rounded answer is 2,300. 2,346 rounded to the nearest hundreds place is 2,300. For that next number, you would circle the 6 and underline the 7. Because that 7 is in between 5 and 9, that circle digit, you have to add 1 to it. So the 6 becomes a 7. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to 0. And then all other digits have to stay the same. 25,673 rounded to the nearest hundreds place is 25,700. Here are two more problems for you to try where it says round to the thousands place. Round to the thousands place. Please hit pause while you're working on these problems. For that first problem, I would have circled the 8 and underlined the 5. Because we're looking at that 5, and it's in between 5 and 9, we add 1 to the 8 to make the 8 a 9. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to 0, and all other digits stay the same. Going through that step for the next problem as well, we circle the 7, underline the 3. Because that 3 is in between 0 and 4, 
because it is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then that 7 stays the same. Flexing our muscles like a hero, digits to the right change to 0, and all other digits stay the same. Okay, let's go ahead and review. And so w what we're doing when we're rounding is that it's going to ask us as to what place to round to. So for instance, it might ask us to round to the thousands place. And then so what we have to do is we have to figure out as to where that thousands place is in that number. Our rounding wrap, wrap helps us with this rounding process. It says to find that place value and circle that digit. We move to the right and underline get it. The reason that we're underlining the 7 is because we're looking at whether that 7 is in between 0 and 4 or whether it's 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So if it's 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, that circle digit does what? Stays the same. Otherwise, we add 1 to that circle digit. So in this case, when we're looking at this example, we looked at the 7, and the 7 is this case right here where we add 1. Do we add 1 to the 3, or do we add 1 to the 7? We add 1 to that circle digit, so that circle digit becomes a 4. We flex our muscles like a hero, and digits to the right change to right, 0. So the 7 changes to a 0, the 2 changes to a 0, and the 5 changes to the 0. Are we done? No. All other digits have to stay the same. If we had finished rounding and we were at 283,725 rounds to 4,000, we would have known at that point, hey, this looks wrong. So all other digits, the 2 and the 8, stay the same. So 283,725 rounded to that thousands place is 284,000.